guys, today we are going to work from page number 86. Here in things it says that you need to change this word, this proper noun, to a proper adjective. I mean, something that describes this proper uh, noun. For example, Japan, Japanese. Japanese, it is the proper adjective. ¿De dónde es la persona? Él es japonés. Holy, in this case, we, here we are going to write down ho, holiness. Rome, Roman. You, Jewish. Italy, Italian. And Jack, Jacks. Right? Es la manera como de nombrar a qué pertenece o a qué grupo pertenece cada persona. Right? Recordemos que ad adjective son aquellas hijos que nos describen un noun. Nos dicen cómo es, bonito, feo, alto. Y vimos la vez pasada que debemos responder unas preguntas. Here, we need to underline the adjectives in right here. So the number one says Savannah's puppies. Love dog biscuits, right? In this case, we need to write to underline savannas, right? Because it is the adjective. Remember that this one answer who's de quién es. Esta responde a de quién es, right? Now here, Jesse ate. Two eggs for breakfast and one sandwich for lunch. So in this case, two and one. Esa responde a la pregunta, ¿cuántos? Next. No news can be good news. No, o sea, también es un adjetivo, en good, right? Here, do you like corn muffins with strawberry jam? So here is corn. ¿De qué clase son los muffins? De maíz. ¿Y de qué clase es la mermelada? Strawberry. ¿Ven? Ahí la describe. Picture of Asian elephants. ¿Qué clase de elefantes? Asian. Where in Lawrence Magazine. ¿Dónde estaban? En Lawrence Magazine. Right? Very good. Now let's move on to page number 87. Right? So here says, identify the underlying word by writing. N for noun, pro for pronoun, or at for adjective in the blank. So we need to decide if this underlying word is noun, or if this one is pronoun, or if this one is adjective. So his, it is, good, pronoun. Two, is that code hers, hers, good. Pronoun. Three, Sarah went to Anna's house. Anna's house, it is adjective. De quien. Is that your hat? Your pronoun. Which book is mine? Mine. Pronoun. And Monica broke her leg. Monica, it is a noun. Right? Here. Then in remember F says, write correct in the blank if the sentence has no pronoun or bear for form error. If the sentence has a wrong pronoun or bear form, write the correction in the blank. Do not add or remove helping verbs. So here, number one says, the hundred beer had went to the stream early in the morning. ¿Cierto? El, el oso hambriento a, a fue. A fue? No, it is wrong. So now here will be had gone. Había ido. Right? Number two says, he has eaten many salmon today. Él ha comido mucho salmón hoy. It is correct. Now, Jeff and me took pictures of this Amazing sight. Jeff y yo tomamos imágenes de esta vista asombrosa. It is correct. 
right? So here is gone because this one is wrong. Correct and correct. Good job. Now let's move on to page number 88. Page 88 says adjectives 2. Here says two or more adjectives can describe the same noun. Por supuesto, dos o más adjetivos pueden describir el mismo noun. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo descríbeme a tu mamá, ¿tú me vas a dar solo un adjetivo? No, me vas a dar mil adjetivos porque tienes muchas cosas para describir a tu mamá. So here says, a, an, and they are always used as adjectives. They are called articles. So articles, los articles también se consideran adjetivos, right? So estos tres son articles y articles hacen parte de los adjetivos. Underline each adjective in these sentences, including the articles a, an, and de. So pay attention. Here it says, two beautiful new bookshelves have been built. Adjectives, two beautiful new. Bien. Next, number two. Old the clothes. Here, the steep, mount, steep mountain road was blocked by the, the avalanche. Number four, my oldest, la más, mi, mi hermana ma, mayor, goes to a Christian. ¿Qué clase de colegio? Christian, in A. Article, here. That woman's basket, woman's, responde de quién, Basket holds cucumbers, carrots, and beans. Here, six. Those picture ski mountains, picture ski mountains are in northern Africa. ¿En qué parte de África? Northern, right? Here, some words that look like verbs can be, can be used as adjectives. They will have these characteristics. Hay algunos verbos que pueden ser Adjetivos, pero tienen que tener estas características. The verb form will end in ing, et, or n, but will not have a helping verb. ¿Vale? Entonces, todos son todos aquellos que terminan en ing, ed, or n, pero que no tienen helping verb. Que no tienen helping verb. The verb form will answer one of the adjective questions about a nine. Cuando el verbo responde cuál, qué clase, cuántos, how many, cuánto vale, or how much, cuánto, or whose, de quién es. For example, my father mended the broken doll. Si ¿Sí ve, terminan en. Sí, mi papá arregló la muñeca que estaba rota. ¿Cómo estaba la muñeca? Rota, right? Now, here, point number one says, underline each adjective in these section, sentences, including the articles a, an, and they, number two, circle any verb form used as adjective. Hint, clave, you should find four of them. Son solo cuatro. So, my family, my whole family went to the circle. My whole family went to the circus. Right here. With eager eyes, we watch, with eager eyes, we watch the animal parrot. With eager eyes, we watch the animal parrot, right? The animal. Number three, the roaring tiger was jumping through a fiery ring. The roaring tiger was jumping through a, a fiery ring. Teacher, este porque no se terminan en ing, pero nos dijeron que puede ser el verbo un adjetivo, pero que no tenga un helping verb. Y este tiene su helping verb. Por esa razón, ese no es un adjetivo. A young man stood on the elephant's back. A young man stood on the elephant's back. So, ¿en dónde se paró? On the elephant's back. Ahí sí nos sirve. Next. 
The holy tumbling crowns made faces at the laughing crowd. The jolly tumbling clowns made faces and faces at the laughing crowd, right? And then the number six is two train acrobats sunk through the air from the high trapeze. So two train, ¿qué clase de acróbatas? Los entrenados. Sung through the air from the high, from the high, from the high trapeze and the. Remember, a, remember, a and and the, they are adjectives. Now let's move on to page number 89. In page number 89, here we set adjective 3. Otra clase de adjetivos, dice, los adjetivos usualmente vienen antes de los nouns que están describiendo. Por ejemplo, the icy roads. Yo, por ejemplo, no digo the car, yo no digo the car red. Instead, I said the red car. O sea, generalmente primero pongo el adjetivo y luego el noun que voy a describir. Right? Cuando yo lo quiero describir así, for example, the beautiful and smart steward. Primero dije los dos adjetivos, beautiful and smart. So here says, sometimes, however, sin, algunas veces, sin embargo, los adjetivos están en el predicado, ¿cierto? Pero describen al sujeto, por supuesto. Cuando yo digo, my mom is beautiful. ¿Quién no dice eso? ¿Cierto? My mom is beautiful. So, ¿quién es el sujeto? Mom, verbo, is, predicado. Es un adjetivo en este caso. Yo también puedo escribir así. My mom is, siempre que tengo el verbo, beautiful. Right? So, here we are going to do this. Listen up. Think A. In six of the sentences below, the underlined word is an adjective. ¿Sí? En seis de las, eh, de las oraciones que tengo acá, las, las palabras que están subrayadas son un adjetivo. Dibuja una pequeña y, de, y delgada flecha hacia el sujeto que el adjetivo está describiendo. No marques las otras oraciones. Entonces, las otras las tenemos que dejar quietas. Right? So, here. James smile was radi radiant. ¿Radiante quién? ¿James o la sonrisa de James? La sonrisa de James. Right? Todo esto era el sujeto. Number two. Mr. Simpson is my neighbor. Neighbor es el adjetivo. ¿Es de quién? De Mr. Simpson. Right? The train whistle bra blared loudly. ¿Mm? Aquí está el train, train es el noun, por eso esa no es un adjetivo. Number four, the cat is outside. El carro está, el, cat, el, el gato está afuera. Afuera, ¿quién? El gato, right? Lisa is sick. Who is sick? Lisa. You see? Those boys are Christians. ¿Quiénes son cristianos? The boys. The clerk in the store was helpful. ¿Qué, ¿Qué era útil? The clerk. You see? The next game is tomorrow. ¿Mañana es qué? El siguiente juego. Right? The last airplane leaves in an hour. The last airplane. You see? The rain is cold. ¿Qué está frío? La lluvia. Right? And here in letter B, we have the same. Underline each adjective in these sentences. Circle the predicate adjectives. Draw a small neat arrow to the noun that each adjective modifies. If the word does not describe a noun or pronoun, then it is not an adjective. Right? So now, here it says, First, underline each adjective. Emily Caswell was a tall, stocky woman with a ruddy complexion. 
todos estos adjetivos de quién se están hablando. ¿Mm? Yes, Amelie Caswell. So, este con este describen a Amelie Caswell. Describirla. ¿Mm? Next. My little brother is short, but short, but he is quick. Mi hermano pequeño es eh, chiquito, pero él es rápido. So this one and this one are talking about my little brother. Lo están describiendo. Here, we will have good weather for the, for the sky is red. Tendremos buen eh, clima por, porque el, el cielo está como rojo. ¿Sí? So, here, este, el, el red, no describe el sky, cuando hay un cielo rojo. So, this one is not, in this case, is not talking about the sky. So, pay attention. Number four, fame is the perfume of heroic deeds. La fama es el perfume de las, de, de, de las semillas heroicas, right? De aquellas personas que son héroes. Right, so here, which is the adjective? Heroic, heroic, and that's it. Heroic, ¿de qué están hablando? De las deeds. Very good. Number five. We will see the playful lambs on the green mountains. Green mountains. Hetty was a young Swiss girl with curly black hair and pretty smile. So, ¿cuáles están describiendo a Heidi? Heidi era una niña, jo, una niña eh, joven, tierna, ¿cierto? Entonces, ella. Estos. Swiss and young. Curly and black. ¿Qué? Cabello. You see? Su cabello era curly. ¿Bien? Y con una sonrisa hermosa. So, it's pretty smile. Sonrisa que hermosa. Right, guys. Let's move on to page number 90, please. So, here in, play, in page number 90, we are not going to the ground, but instead, we are going to identify here the adjective. So, we are going to underline the adjective. Le vamos a subrayar. A good deed, a kind heart, a highest hill, a clear sunny day, the cast iron bell, his best friend, the lady's favorite dress, lady's favorite, a hard working man, a hard working man, a very thoughtful gift, very thoughtful gift, and the hilariously funny the clown. Funny clown. Good job, right? And then we are going to move in thing B. Underline all adjectives. Draw arrows to the words the adjectives modify, right? It's the same thing. So, Subrayamos los adjetivos y de ese adjetivo mandamos la flecha a aquel que está describiendo. Unselfish boys become noble men. Unselfish que boys become noble men. Noble describe al men. Number two, the best love is a helping hand. Helping hand. Una mano, ayuda, una mano amigable. I found a pleasure in the pathless woods. Pathless woods. So we are going here to, yes, go to write down. Number four. To some men are given ten talents. Some men, algunos niños, chicos, hombres, right? Les han dado ten, ten que. Talents, you see? Two honest young men were chosen. ¿Sí ven? Tenemos tres adjetivos acá de aquel hombre, de aquellos hombres. Dos jóvenes honestos. Entonces, estos tres hablan del men. 
He had much wit but little wisdom. Ha, much wit and little wisdom. Right? Next. His gentle, helpful words calm our fears. His gentle, helpful what? Words. Palabras amables y ayudadoras. Right? Next. John was the captain of our company. Right? He are da. Era el capitán de qué? Of our company. Right? Very good. So you have one minute to write it down, please. If you maybe didn't have time. Let's do it. I'm just giving you one minute, please. Right? Very good. Remember, adjectives are going to describe a noun. Siempre van a describir un noun. Pero aquí en Grammar, por ejemplo, el libro lo ve como un modificador. Sí, él te, siempre te va a decir modifier. En realidad es que lo está describiendo. Right? So please write it down quickly. You can do it. You can do it right now. Yes? So remember, adjective. What are adjective? They are modifiers. O sea, aquellos que describen. ¿Describen qué? El verbo. Describen al helping verb. No. Describen al now. Now, here, 91 says, page number one, thinking about adjectives. Write, underline the adjectives in the following sentences. How many did you find? So, I already did it. So, we have the, to, frisky, throwed as, throwed out as we approach the rambling farmhouse and they bark out a friendly greeting. So, how many did we find? One, two, three, four, five, and six. We, find, we found six adjectives. So, please underline them. Right? Very good. Think B. Find the adjectives in the following sentences. Write the adjectives and the nouns. They modify in the blanks. Oh, easy. For example, are you a courteous host? Adjective. Courteous. Courteous modifies host. Right? Here. Do you share favorite toys with friends? Tu compartes tus juguetes favoritos con tus amigos. So, adjective. Favorite. Favorite what? Toys. You see? You can offer a personal invitation to come again, which is the adjective. Personal. Personal what? Invitation. Invitation. Right? Here, when other people talk, you should be attentive. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? Tú debes ser atento. So, attentive. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién debe ser atento? You. Right? Very good. And the last one. Let's do it by yourself right now. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You have 10 seconds to do it. Please write it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, here. Always thank the host for a pleasant time, which is the adjective pleasant. Yes? Pleasant K, time. Right? And finally, here in thing C says, there is one unnecessary adjective in each of the following sentences. Hay uno que no necesitamos de más. De, hay un adjetivo que está como de más. El primero ya lo hicieron por nosotros. Do you like old antiquities? ¿Por qué? ¿A ti te gustan las, co, las eh, antigüedades viejas? Pues las antigüedades ya son viejas. Ese sale, no sirve. There is a plentiful, abundant supply of apples this year. Hay pleno y abundante. Si ya es abundante, pues ya es pleno, right? 
Es decir, que esta no me sirve. Plentiful. The end result was that our class won the contest. Si mi clase ganó el, la competencia, pues no tengo que decir cuál fue el final, el resultado final, right? Always tell the real truth. Siempre diga la verdadera, la, la verdad real. Pues la verdad, right? Here, the inventor became a rich millionaire. ¿Un rico millonario? Mm, no. Number six. A bouquet was sent to shear the sick invalid. A bouquet fue enviado, ¿cierto? Para aquella persona, para la que esté enferma inválida. No, to sick in the seat. The officer wanted only the true facts, right? The play was a funny comedy. So play, now let's do it by yourself. You have 10 seconds to choose which one is that adjective that we don't need. That is redundant, que es redundante. O sea, por eso no necesito dos eh, adjetivos. Right? TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Are you doing it? Yes. Here, pay attention. Number seven. The officer wanted only the facts. El, solo, el oficial solo quiere los hechos. Los verdaderos hechos, los hechos. Si son los hechos, pues tienen que ser verdaderos. Number eight, the play was a funny comedy. La, um, la producción fue una comedia divertida. Las comedias ya son divertidas. You see? Very good, guys. So this was the class for today. Thank you so, so much. And we are going to see in the next video. Bye-bye.